meeting new people. Uh, for some of us, it's exciting or even thrilling, uh, but for others, it, an impending meeting uh, brings anxiety or outright fear. The bodies get tense at the thought. Uh, their thoughts begin to race or go muddled. You could say for them it's chilling instead of thrilling. Uh, whether someone's had uh, traumatic experiences with meeting new people or they just get anxious about it and don't know why. Uh, there's some simple things that can be done to help them start reworking their internal response patterns around meeting new people so their feelings are a better fit for their present reality. The technique I'll show you here is just a start. Your own issues are unique and could require more targeted care. So what we're going to do here is that I'm going to invite you to lay some groundwork with a bit of imagination, bring up a small part of your anxious response, and a small part is going to be enough. Uh, I'll have you track some internal sensations, use your mind to interact with the feelings while they change. And uh, if you're a complex trauma survivor or you have some severe, severe anxiety, uh, sometimes these simple body-mind techniques can tip off an internal battle that just doesn't need to happen. Uh, so I'll invite you to definitely pay attention to how intense your feelings are getting and uh, pause or take a break anytime you feel like it could ramp up into a panic attack or flashback. As long as you interrupt the feeling early enough before it gets too intense, this exercise will become easier each time you do it. So it's like you would just come back to it and it, it would get easier. If it's getting less and less easy, well, don't don't do it. Uh, let's go ahead and start by pumping the bellows of the nervous system. I'm going to ask you to bring in some air and then let it out slowly, uh, kind of like this. Take a moment to just feel your position in space. Sort of where you are in the area that you're watching this and you're uh, doing the technique. So we're going to start to bring up just a small portion of the feeling. So start by either imagining that you're about to go to an event with a trusted friend and someone new is going to be there that you're going to meet. Or if that doesn't do anything for you, it's not enough. Uh, then let's let's go ahead and imagine that you have an upcoming appointment with someone you haven't met them before and it's a new person that that, that should bring up something. And uh, what, what I'm going to ask you to do is start to find where your body starts to have Inter have, have traffic patterns, have some you know, some feeling, whether the feeling is somewhere up high near the head and throat, whether it's somewhere in the middle near the chest or upper stomach or down low near the, near the lower stomach. Uh, if, if you uh, are not able to notice that because really you've had to shut off a lot of sensation to keep on keeping on, uh, just guess where the feeling would be if you could find it. Honestly, your guess is good enough turning attention in and looking for the feeling is more important here than finding it and uh, guess about how deep beneath the skin it seems to reach about how big it is its shape if you will and what it seems to be doing because you're looking for where it is keep on uh, breathing if something is getting tight and you're, you're getting worried about it uh, as you continue to bring in air and let out air i'm going to ask you to notice which direction it wishes it could move notice which direction it's pushing towards whether it's a noticeable direction like up down sideways or whether it's a more obscure direction like inward or outward or in a few different directions where it's trying to distribute through the body. And uh, we'll take it a little further now. Uh, what I'll invite you to do is talk to it as if it's a person by just sending messages in your mind. You don't actually have to say something out loud. Uh, while you're bringing in air and letting out air, especially while you're letting out air, send a message down into that feeling uh, to the effect of um, you're inside of my body. Here's the shape of my body and then just show it the shape of your current adult body uh, the length of your spine up to your head the breadth of your shoulders the length of your arms the length of your legs down to your feet and just send the message to it saying uh, go ahead and move which direction you can move i'm here with you you don't have to move any particular direction just go the way that you can go 
sometimes it helps also to recognize that there's air around you, that there's a certain amount of empty space around you. It's not uncommon, uh, for example, for someone to start feeling uh, the sensations of it wanting to move up through the mouth and out into the air. That's fine. Just show it. Here's the air. Here's how much space there is. I mean, a lot of our feelings are uh, sort of operating like a person trapped in a dark room when they're stuck like that with anxiety and fear. Uh, you, you kind of show them where there's space, where things are, and suddenly there's this uh, sort of openness or confidence or readiness to do something. Your recognition that you're okay here in your own skin, you're not actually in danger, gives good feedback to this part of you that's still operating as if you are in danger. So uh, keep bringing in air, letting out air. And notice whether the feeling is uh, getting more calm, whether it's coming in waves, surges of feeling and then calming, or uh, whether it's getting more and more tight and locked up. If it's getting more and more tight and locked up, uh, take a break, do something soothing, drink some water if that is something that is soothing. And if it's getting more calm or coming in waves, uh, continue focusing on it until uh, it has, has leveled out and gone as calm as it's going to go. Uh, if you're able to, to bring the feeling up again later and uh, do the same sort of thing, proprioceptive like we're doing here, just looking looking for the shape, feeling it, working it out. Um, it'll it'll you'll get more and more ready for these new meetings with people. If it's getting more and more locked up and you get more and more feel fearful, definitely you need more targeted work on that. The kind of thing you'd want to do with with a, a professional who can who can help you through that. Hope you found this exercise useful.